I really love these things. And they got little marbles in them. And basically, it's a pet bottle. This is actually a little bottle inside it. It's so clever made in how they just, it folds up. And he also has these little rattle things here. Little, these little things here down here to keep the Inoshishi out. They rattle together, two little bamboo things. Really clever. So we are off-roading with the boys. This is what the road looks like. This is an old discarded road and we're headed to a lake trying to get close to that lake and we're going to be looking for treasure but oh it's hard going one of the great things about japan is they've got roads everywhere mainly for logging purposes but um it means that you can like explore the countryside and this is like bear bear area and um maybe we'll see a asian bear Ooh, that was a rock under the car. I wish I knew my trees. There's this beautiful tree. Um, magnolia? I don't know what this is. This right here is, uh, not sure, pellets. That's uh, probably, could be deer. I'm trying to get to where this tree is. And, um, this is old brick, so this may be a good area to look around. Let's let's look around, see what we find, because someone would have planted these trees here. These beautiful husks on it, and I'm wondering if I can get a cutting of this. Get this growing in our yard. It's a beautiful tree. So here's the lake. It's actually a swamp. And we went out there, nothing detected anything. We're getting a lot of iron, I guess, or ore. We're, it just it buzzes all the time, so I have to take off the 50 cents, whatever the 50 cents one is. So Tommy, go ahead, see what you can find. Find some treasure, Tom. We're out in the woods, forest. Keep walking. I've got the shovel. I think we're gonna to go to the beach. <laughs> we're on the beach. See if we can find some lost jewelry. But looking for the uh, samurai, lost samurai treasure has been uh, not so fruitful. So we gotta learn how to use this tool first. Tommy's just wielding it around like a, like a sledgehammer. Softly, Tommy, come on. Someone forgot the bucket. All right, let's go back and get the bucket. Got the bucket. <laughs> here it is, the bucket. See, I think this area here would have been a location of a farm or a home. There was the lake down there, and this has been raised here. So we detect a lot of metal in here, and ultimately it's rusted little bits of metal, probably from the house. And here comes my adventurers. Watch out, why are you running? I want to show you how much hits we get here. Just. Five eight. So that's, that says uh, 10 cents right there. Tommy, you can't dig through there. Hold on, this is loose now because of you. So I'll just show you how many hits we have here. Hit, hit, hit. And it's reading, you can see this here, ten, 10 cents, there's a 10 cent piece, I doubt there's a 10 cent piece in there. So it's probably lots of nickel and stuff from the old house that was here. Come back 
right here. I actually had hit a gold a moment ago. It says 25 cents there or something. Right here, 50 cents. 10 cents. It's a nickel or something in there. Tommy? Huh? Banging on the tree. And this is where we were digging. We spent about five minutes digging here. It's still there. That says gold right there. That boo, that lower sound. And it stops. All right. But as you can see, this the reading is fifty cents. That was gold. That boo. Oh, that's ten cents. Really, really for that nice. Low sound. Grab the uh, shovel in the bucket. Thank you. See, the, it's like eight inches. I want to get something that's like closer to the surface. Oh, this is closer. All right, let's dig up this area and see what we can find here. This is why this is just so hard. Look, you just move this all the way around, and I'm, I'm, getting, I'm detecting stuff everywhere. And I've dug this up, but the uh, thing here, why are you breaking the tree, Mikey? Yeah. Not Yeah. I have a gun. Oh, right here. This is... Where did I find that? It was like really close to the depth. There's gold. That was gold right there. there. That boo, that low sound. Right in there. Use your shovel. Dig around in there. Mikey, please move that. Put it the other way. So, that's gold? Oh no, that's 10 cents there. Why is it detecting, uh, detecting my iPhone now? See? No, it's not detecting it. Nande? What's in here? Or is it detecting the other... Uh, you know, maybe... Maybe what you should do is fill the bucket. Because the bucket has no plastic... Has no metal in it. And then once we know it's in the bucket, like we can list... You know, maybe that's the way we do it. All right, let's try. That was Tommy and I's adventure with Mikey out looking for treasure and and we had silver hit everywhere there was silver 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 we didn't find any so I don't know what it means I don't know if basically there is silver there how far it is because it kept reading you know um, uh, eight inches down eight inches down and it was as you can see it was all over the place so I'm a little disappointed I went to the beach the other day too and again silver ringing everywhere so I don't understand what the deal is with this detector and what it's detecting so I'm thinking maybe they maybe the sand is from a silver mine and there's silver traces in there I don't know no idea